Hey guys, Paul Chopper here, and in today's video we're going to try an opinion piece out, discussing what probably is the most talked about hero right now being Greystone, and is he really overpowered? Before I go any further, I would like to state again this is my opinion, and I will be looking at both sides, why people think he is too strong, why people think he isn't and how to counter him, and also my experiences with Greystone. The game lately you are seeing right now is actually my first game ever as Greystone, just never played him before, but I was going to make this video so I thought why not and see what he feels like. Also do comment down below what you think of Greystone right now, is he too strong or is he fine and tell me why. Anyway first let's get into why people think he's a too strong. The biggest reason is his ultimate, not only does he come back to life, it costs 0 mana, and level 3 only has a 60 second cooldown, creates a slow, very similar to Faze Bramble ability, deals hundreds of damage depending on how Grey has built, and finally gains 3 quarters of his health back at level 3 too. At lower levels the ultimate isn't as strong but it still does a lot. It's such a big ability where it can easily change the entire course of a team fight by itself. This also makes Grey naturally tanky with his other passive add in health and basic attack armour. Having that ultimate meaning on Monolith with power being kin, Greystone can build more crit and damage builds causing him to wreak havoc on other teams. Now people have countered this saying that you need to just know how to play against him, Burnley in him from early on when he is a lot weaker as the rest of his kit isn't the best. Greystone most likely will be in the offlane position so there's more chance to gain up on him, but this requires a lot of teamwork especially for solo queue and if the Greystone is good player then you're in trouble. Once he hits level 5 he can be a lot more comfortable being aggressive now his ultimate is online. There are multiple heroes however that do counter Grey sort of well. Howitzer using his ultimate when Greystone has just used his is a good one. Also Howitzer's landmine if placed correctly can push Greystone all the way back into your team so you can finish him off before he escapes. Steel is another great hero for this. Wait until he has ulted and then use your ult. Slam him down and use a bull rust to push him back into your team and they'll do the rest. I believe these are the best counters towards him. You can even use Crunt with his insane burst damage, he can get in there and deal great amounts of damage before Greystone can get away. So if you ever see Greystone, these are some good picks. In the current meta, towers are very weak. At least now you need to your minions to take down a tower, but still tower diving is a big problem and no one can do it better than Greystone. He can simply walk in taking multiple hits while slaying an early game carry. Trust me I've been there and it sucks. Hopefully with a patch buff to towers that would help a bit but that's for another video. The reality is facing the greystone for me makes the game a hell lot less fun. Being a carry or support against a greystone when they hit level 5 feels like they're not only point trying to kill them because you can't unless they're a very bad player. If he ults he can get to the safety of his tower easily. This goes into the late game too, when now he's a lot harder to kill. The effort just to get Greystone to use his ultimate isn't really worth it. I honestly just ignore dealing damage to him. I have seen too many times catching a Greystone off guard for him to ult and then the rest of his team to back him up, just for him to come back a minute later to have his ultimate again. He's generally a pain to play against. So overall I just feel he's a bit too good at everything. He sells it so much while being very easy to play with a simple kit, so a lot of new players can pick him up and do rather well, although it will be teaching them bad habits. The gameplay I hope proves this. My first game ever with him and I felt more relaxed, not having to worry about overextending so much, you don't get punished. Trying to be tanky in this meta is very hard, and Greenstone does this naturally, so he is the best tank while being able to add crit and damage so he can deal damage similar to a carry which is more than any fighter in the game can do now, while still having good CC so he can wave clear fine too. Now what can be done about him? Personally like at the start something about his ultimate has to be adjusted, it does two things, deals damage and CCs being a good initiator while resing himself up for no cost at almost full health. One of the buff has to be adjusted, you can either have it so it does no damage and the slow isn't as insane as it is now, or have it so the ultimate costs some mana, doesn't give him as much health back as it does, maybe 50%, while well, the cooldown itself is at 60 seconds at level 3 is just too short. Either one I think would make him not as much of a threat as he is right now. But anyway guys, I know this was a bit of a ramble, but I wanted to say my overall opinion on this hero. Like I said at the start of the video, let me know what you think of Greystone and if he is fine, and if not, how he should be nerfed, which I'm sure is on Epic's radar. And I'll see you next time.